I thought uh, the first day uh, and day two was excellent. I thought the day was good until about three quarters of the way, and then our our uh, concentration seemed to go, and we uh, we didn't finish the day like we should have. And uh, you know we've got to figure out a way to fix that. And so again, uh, it's a little bit frustrating. You know, I know there's like two sides to when you got new blood in in your roster. Looks you're gonna have some new players, and like there's a player like Dylan Mitchell who's gonna play his third game, but you got injuries or you're having a you know a tough record. Um, but at the, at the same time, speak about the opportunity and maybe what ripple effect the insertion of new blood like a Kevin Brown, for example, can bring. Well, again, those those kids have got to do a great job of knowing what they're going to do. Uh, again, they're brought here for a reason. We feel strongly that they're good players, um, you know, and so we've done a lot of research on them. And like I say, you know, personnel is not an exact science. So, I mean, sometimes, you you know, you, you guess right, sometimes you guess wrong, you know. Right. So we uh, it's a really good opportunity for those guys that are going to be inserted in the roster to contribute to our team. Yeah. Dylan Mitchell's arrow seems to be, in the early returns, seems to be going – very much up. Yeah, he's had uh, two games where he had a, I think he had a 43 and a 35 or something like that, you know, and unfortunately we took the penalty with the block in the back on the one that negated it, but we at least, our, our arrow's pointing in the right direction as far as our return game. Now we just got to, a lot of it's contingent upon how well we block, so mm -hmm. we've got to do the things necessary to, to get their gunners and jokers blocked and, and to get the thing vertical. What's your thoughts on Jake Mayer? Uh, he's an awful good player. I mean, uh, you know, you don't know a lot about these guys until they get inserted in the roster and then you see exactly how good they are. I mean, they're they're in and out of the huddle. They're efficient. They're, I mean, he, he makes the throws. I mean, he is uh, he runs better than you think. You know, he's a, he's an excellent athlete. So he's uh, he's going to certainly be a big test for us. How much does their offense flow through uh, Kadeem Carey? Well, I mean, Kadeem's an awful, he's an awful explosive player, him and 20. I mean, they yeah. roll them in there and sometimes have them both. And, you know, everybody they seem to hand the ball to is an explosive player. So we've got to uh, do a great job of, uh, of keeping them corralled and tackling them. What have you seen out of the professionalism of your group? I mean, to see three quality players go out, that's never easy. They're human too. But yep. the professionalism of the group, have you, have you seen uh, just – you know, hey, go about your business. Yeah, I mean, done. yeah, I'm impressed with him. I mean, I talked to Court yesterday morning, you know, and, you know, he was, uh, and I even saw him this morning. He gave me a little dap, and he's, you know, asking him how the mood was. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, it's pro football. I mean, it's part of, it's part of the landscape. And unfortunately, uh, you know, sometimes you have to let good guys, you know, go to other places to try to put yourself in better spots in the future. So we wish those guys nothing but the best because they were certainly good, good players and good people with us. And so uh, we'll just have to see how they do when we, when we see them. Can you uh, get a full load from Avery Ellis this week? What do you expect? Well, I mean, we, we rotate anyway. You know, it'll be him and S.A. Uh, you know, we'll rotate uh, probably about seven to eight defensive linemen will rotate throughout the game. Has he been, from what you can tell, has he picked it up? Oh, yeah. Pretty and long. that's the one thing I'm impressed with because we do have a lot of line stunt movement stuff, and, and he's just done an outstanding job of, of gaining the understanding of what his gap responsibility is. Okay. All right. See you in Calgary. Thank you all. Thank you. All right.